Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a new Infinite Flight video. Today we are not going to be flying Delta Airlines anymore. I decided to change it up a little bit. I've tried recording this almost three times today. And, uh, yeah, none of them really worked. So with that being said, uh, we're going to find a different airline to fly. We're flying probably either going to be, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Let's pick an airline to fly. We could fly the 747, but I don't think that's uh, necessary. So we could fly Thomas Cook. That is a option. Or we could fly Swiss, Vietnam, Viet Air, or even Air China. Uh, which kind of I wonder if we could fly Aero Mexico. I'm uh, here. I just need to search up Aero Mexico. Uh, yeah, let's see if this actually works. I wonder if it will work here. Okay, Aero Mexico, I don't think we're going to do... Um, Because I think a lot of people aren't going to understand the uh, safety video for this one. I might do Air China. Alright, so, um, or we could fly Air Canada again. I don't know which one you guys like, and I can't tell. American Airlines is a op uh, is a choice for us. China, oh, they have China Airlines now in here, um, so we could do that. We do need to get some more aircrafts in here, that's for sure. Uh, we have Qatar Qatar Airlines, Swiss International. Definitely not going to be doing Swiss because we are not. Uh... Let's do Air China, uh, China Airlines here. We're going to be parking at uh, Gate zero uh, six today. It's going to be a morning flight, and uh, we're going to fly up to San Bernardino International Airport, hopefully, safely. Um, now, uh, just a quick note on the side. Some of the safety videos that they demonstrate uh, isn't the right aircraft, so just be aware of that. I will try to find one that is the correct aircraft for you. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do an Air Chi uh, China Airlines flight today. Um, so we're operating this beautiful 777-300ER here today at uh, the airport. We're going to fly from Mexico City um, all the way out to, uh, all the way to San Bernardino. Which is about 180 some kilometers away. Um, it's pretty much a straight route out. Uh, and then when we get about halfway in, uh, it kind of turns a little bit. But uh, yeah. So, with that being said, uh, we're basically going to follow the coastline and follow it all the way into San Bernardino. Um, it's fairly straightforward and fairly easy to figure that out. Uh, I'm just doing some switchbacks here just to get us on the ILS here uh, when we get into San Bernardino because it is kind of hard to intercept it. So, and yes, I know we're flying the triple seven three hundred. China Airlines doesn't operate this particular flight. Let's say uh, it does operate flights like this, but uh, I guess there will be. This uh, new one here, so we're flying uh, China Airlines. I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, start. Ooh, we need to figure out. Okay, so we just have to taxi down there. One of the nice things about this aircraft is it's so big. And I actually like uh, China Airlines. Ladies and gentlemen uh, from the flight deck, Captain speaking. I'd like to welcome everyone aboard China Airlines Flight 3276 service up to... San Bernardino, California, flying time today, one hour uh, to your destination. My name, uh, on behalf of China Airlines and the Star Alliance Network, uh, on the, and the Sky Team uh, Network, we'd like to thank you everyone for joining us. It's been our pleasure 
serving you. We hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please tr turn your attention to the safety uh, safety screen in front of you as we demonstrate the safety features of this 777-300. All right, guys, so I'm going to be quiet here, and uh, we're going to start the safety video in just a minute. Uh, as soon as we start pushing back a tad bit, uh, there's no need to start it this early. It will not. En it will end on time. So again, it's gonna be China Airlines Flight 3672, service up to uh, San Bernardino. Um, one of the issues with this airport uh, airport is the air aircrafts are so big, and uh, so it's really hard to fit a lot of them in. Um, but uh, pay attention to the, uh, enjoy the safety video, and uh, here we go. Welcome aboard China Airlines. 各位贵宾，根据法令规定，在飞行途中会发生电波干扰的个人电子用品全程禁用。现在，请您确认已经关闭电源。Ladies and gentlemen, according to CAA regulations, all transmitting devices must not be used during the flight. Please switch them off right now. 有关行动电话以及其他电子用品的使用规范，请您参阅《机上杂志》乘客安全规定单元。Regarding the usage of mobile phones and electronic devices, please refer to the safety regulations in the onboard magazine. 客舱内共有十个紧急出口。There are ten exits in this aircraft. 在走道或座椅边装有逃生路线指引灯。紧急情况时，逃生出口指示灯会自动亮起，请您按照灯光指示路线到达您最近的紧急出口。The escape path lighting is located along the aisles or on the side of your seat. The exit lights will be on in an emergency to guide you to the emergency exit. Please follow the illuminated signs to the nearest exit. 逃生门的位置及使用方法都有标志及说明。These exits are also clearly marked and should not be touched during in-flight. In your seat two sides have safety belts. According to the safety regulations, please remove the safety belts when you board the aircraft, as they will protect your safety. If you want to open the safety belts, simply remove the safety belts when you board the aircraft. Your seat is equipped with a seat belt. Based on CAA regulations, please fasten your seatbelt when seated to ensure your safety. To unfasten your seatbelt, simply release the buckle. 本班机全面禁止吸烟及使用电子烟，在客舱内吸烟及损毁洗手间内烟雾侦测器是违法行为。This is a non-smoking flight. Smoking and using electronic cigarettes in the cabin and tampering with the smoke detector in the lavatory is strictly prohibited by law. 客舱施压时，氧气面罩会自动落下。请您先拉下面罩或黄色拉带，罩在鼻子与嘴部，以正常的方式呼吸，然后再协助他人。If there is a sudden change in cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will drop down automatically. Pull either the mask or the yellow tag down, and place the mask over your nose and mouth, and breathe normally. Attend to yourself first before helping children or others. 在座位或扶手下方备有救生衣。Life vests are located under your seat or armrest. <音>使用时先将风带撕开，救生衣上的吹管朝外，再将救生衣从头上套下。Break the seal to remove it from the bag. Place the life vest over your head with the tube facing outward. 把前面的白色腰带向后环绕到前面，扣上系紧。Then tie the white strap around your waist and clip it. 救生衣的下方有一个红色拉扣。当您要离开紧急出口时，请用力向下拉，救生衣就会自动冲起。如果不能膨胀，在救生衣的上方有一条吹管，请直接向里面吹气，直到充满空气为止。Inflate your life vest only when leaving the emergency exits. 
by pulling down the tag or by blowing into the tube. 所有救生衣均有位置灯，着水时会自动亮起。All life vests are equipped with a position light. The position light will activate automatically if in water. 儿童也可以穿着成人救生衣，穿法与成人相同。Children may wear the adult life vest in the same way. 机上另备有婴儿救生衣，可提供婴儿使用。Infant life vests are also available on this flight. 有关以上各项救生用具的详细说明及紧急出口路线，请参阅座椅前的旅客安全须知卡。For more information, please refer to the safety instruction card in your seat pocket. 现在我们准备起飞，请系好安全带，竖直椅背，收好桌子及脚踏垫。We are now ready for takeoff. Please fasten your seatbelt. Bring the seat back upright. Put your footrest and tray table in place. We wish you a pleasant journey. Enjoy your flight with us. We wish you a pleasant journey. There you guys go. There's the、uh, safety video for Air China Airlines. It is similar to the Air China、uh, aircrafts. Uh, which we will play in another uh, flight. Uh, probably not in this、uh, county anymore, because I've pretty much done a lot of the flights in here already. So、um, yeah, so this is a brand new feature that I started doing not too long ago. Actually, I started this two videos ago with the safety video thing.、Uh, I just said it adds a little bit more excitement into these videos, and it's not just me talking all the time.、Uh, these videos are actually professionally made. Safety videos that you can actually get,、um, so that's where I'm getting them from. I'm getting them from, and you also have to make sure that they're not copyrighted because oftentimes stuff like this it can get copyrighted. So,、uh, without talking more about that, let's go ahead and get on the runway here and let's get out of here.、Uh, our time is about ready to go here. 186 nautical miles. We'll be flying at a cruising altitude of 15,000 feet. Ah,、uh, so it should be on the ground in、uh, San Bernardino here in about so、oh, about an hour, twenty one minutes、uh, air time. So we'll be down on the ground in about an hour. Ah,、uh, because when we because、uh, they consider our taxi time here, so total flight time should be about one hour. Uh, that's um gate to gate, but uh with just flying it should be about twenty three thirty minutes, and most of that's in cruise. So, I'll turn up the volume now so you guys can hear a little bit more.、Um, since we were playing the safety video, I shut it off. All right, so we're sitting here on、uh, runway two seven.、Uh, runway has been identified as runway two seven. So,、uh, without further ado, let's go and recalibrate our device and let's get out of here. All right, brakes are off. And、uh, I do apologize if you guys hear like loud screams in the background, because、uh, my brother is being annoying. So, anyway, so we are.、Uh, this does feature APPR, which is the Auto Approach Landing System, which in my case I'm not gonna use because I found that system is not really reliable.、Um, so, with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Auto.、Uh, Manual landing, and I actually prefer manual landing over the、um, auto landing system. So that's why. All right, let's go to select heading select here, so we don't veer off course like I did last time. And we'll start retracting those flaps and gears coming up. And continue our climb out. You can see we were retracting these flaps pretty quick. Take a little bit more speed in here, and the flaps are all out, all done. Speed is set, and at this time we're just passing two thousand feet, so we can go ahead and initiate autopilot for. Our climb out. 
And we're good, guys, so uh, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the fun. I'll update you guys along the way. Estimated uh, time to destination, 41 minutes, so it's about an hour long flight minus taxi uh, and stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy uh, your China flight 3672 service to San Bernardino from uh, Mexico. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And no, oh, by the way, guys, you might want to grab yourself something good to drink. Because it's going to be a long one. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce the vertical speed here as we are climbing up on our final cruise altitude. And let's go ahead and increase our speed to 370.
All right, guys, so I'm just going to plug in the charger here because my uh, thing is draining battery here. So you might hear the thing come on, but uh, yeah. My apologies for that. Uh, I think I twisted something.
All right, guys, we are 100 nautical miles out uh, from our airport. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is uh, we're going to go ahead and turn to a heading of uh, 09 hour, which is 9 or degrees. So we fly the Santa Catalina uh, waypoint here. And uh, yeah, at that point, uh, we'll, be quite, uh, we'll be done pretty quickly here. So it's a tad bit of a long turn. Uh, I know the cruise has been a little long here. But uh, this is all the fun in flying. Uh, when you fly uh, games like this, you got to have patience for it and just work with it. Um, we're only about 13 minutes out from our destination, so uh, the aircraft is cruising pretty fast here. Uh, I try to keep the speed up fairly quick. That way uh, you guys don't have to sit through too much of it. But uh, you guys can always skip, a for skip ahead if you want to watch a different part of it and not have to continuously watch uh, the aircraft cruise here. I know it's uh, boring as much as it is, so yeah. Now just looking at our map here, we're a tad bit off course uh, just because we're turning quite heavily here. Um, so hopefully that will be fixed as soon as we're finished this turn. Um, but uh, yeah, we are uh, pretty good. 15 minutes into the flight time and uh, still rolling here. 98 nautical miles left. So should be on the ground here in about 20-ish uh, minutes. All right, uh, 92 nautical miles out, and uh, we're still cruising up here. Uh, when we get about 60-ish nautical miles, I'll start our initial descent down to flat level uh, 4,000 for our arrival into San Bernardino.
Alright guys, so I changed the time of day over to daytime as, uh, you know, we can't always just stay in that morning shine, so, 84 nautical miles to go. Alright, so we're going to turn to a heading of 227 here. I guess our GPS didn't pick up that. Um, so we're going there right now. Um, and at this time, uh, we're 20 minutes in. And this time we're going to start slowing the aircraft down to 325 knots uh, and start our initial descent down to flight level uh, 8000 here. Okay, we're going to start our descent down to 10,000 at this point. Alright, let's descend a tad bit quicker here. This is a slow descent. I'm gonna open the door here just to allow some air in. Um, yeah. Alright, so we are uh, doing some pretty good progress here. Slowly but surely getting on our way down uh, into. Los Angeles, we're going to turn on our landing light now um, as we get ready to land here. Go down to 9,000 feet. And let's go kick our speed down at 290 knots. And we're going to kick our spoilers up. Um. Anyways, um, so with our descent going now, uh, we should be in good shape and uh, should be on the ground here in about the next 
10 or so minutes. Um, all right, so this time we're going to turn to heading at 53. All righty. And uh, our descent is coming along nicely. Power is coming back nicely. Uh, no need for flaps at this time. Uh, we'll start kicking our speed down to 280 knots uh, for our arrival into Los Angeles. Now our GPS is doing something quite funky, but we're pretty much on a straight heading here for uh, Los Angeles here, so I don't know why it's doing what it's doing, but uh, yeah, we're pretty much on course as far as that goes. Um, so we'll just... Uh yeah, let's do that, and then continue into uh, into the airport in a minute and that way we at least have it fixed um, we'll get rid of that real quick there we go there we go now we got it so from our present position we're only 40 nautical miles out so we're really gonna have to start pushing the descent uh, so we're going to descend about 22,000 feet. Speed's coming back to 250 knots at minimum. And uh, our seatbelt sign is coming on. Alright, next waypoint we're flying heading of 62 now. Uh, which cut our flight time actually in half. Because we were still 60 some nautical miles out uh, when we started that. So... Our descent is going pretty well here, descending about 2,000 feet per minute, uh, so we can get into San Bernardino here pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah. Now this video, I don't know exactly when it's going to be uploaded. Um, well, by the time you guys are seeing it, it will be uploaded. But, uh, yeah, and also the other thing is, uh, you guys may not be seeing, because this video is going to take a long time to process, and yeah, it's just going to take forever. Um, so. Eight thousand feet. Uh, okay, let's go and get down a little bit further. Thirty-five nautical miles left to go. Uh, we're going to go to a speed of uh, 220 here. Spoilers are coming up. <coughs> and uh, we're going to do flaps 1 here. And start our arrival here into San Bernardino Airport. Flight time is now just under 26 minutes, uh, so it should be on the ground here in about th uh, 10 minutes. Let's kick our speed down a tad bit more. Alright, so with the uh, mess up with the map, uh, unfortunately it cut our flight time in a little bit, which is actually a good thing because I didn't like that long flight time we had, but uh, that's the life here. Hey, right, we are uh, getting down here pretty quickly at uh, 5,000 feet. We're going to maintain 5,000 feet for the next uh, little bit, and then uh, we're going to start slowing this puppy down for... Landing into uh, runway uh, 27, I believe, at San Bernardino. 
Actually, that's runway 06. And the thing about San Bernardino is it's got one runway, so we're going to have to make it on the ground here um, pretty quickly. Um, so I'm just going to quickly look up the maximum uh, speed. And let's kick that back up now. We can go flaps one actually. Nope, flaps one is a little too less. And let's kick the speed down a little bit more. One. 90. And we can actually probably go flaps 15 at this point. No. So, from what I can see, the slowest landing speed for this aircraft is going to be about 145. Uh, so, about 160 knots realistically. Uh, which is pretty much the realistic standards. Uh, I don't think you can get any more realistic than that. Maybe we can just go flaps one at this point. How far are we? 16 nautical miles, so I should see the... Alright, so, uh, I don't know what... No, that's not going to work. I don't know the uh, flap speeds for this aircraft. And let's go ahead and get down to 3,000 here. Oops. Not gonna put gear down just yet. Uh, still a ways away, so want to hold off on that just yet. We should be able to see the airport up ahead. Uh, I think that might be it right up there. Can't quite tell. I think that is it. So we are uh, almost there, guys. I know this uh, approach thing, it's normally not fun, but uh, should be a lot closer. I think uh, that's the airport we're headed to, right there. And actually, we can put our gear down at this one. We'll go flaps 15 uh, with gear. Go 150. There we go. And, uh, we're coming down to 3,000 feet, and once we get a, what did it say? Well, I'm not using AGL, silly. Um, why does it keep doing this? Like, now it's just worse. Oh, it's resituating itself, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, from the flight deck, Captain speaking. I do apologize for the um, the bouncing up and down here. Our aircraft just keeps going up and down with autopilot. I don't know why. Um, so I 
Alright guys, so I think what we're going to do here actually is I might actually end up taking control because um, I can see the runway now and we are not really on the correct heading for this. So I'm going to start turning the aircraft here. Uh, we'll leave it at 3,000 feet until uh, we get a tad bit closer. But yeah. We're going to go spoilers armed. Uh, 140. I'm not going to go any slower than this. Just because I don't know the actual approach speed for this aircraft. And so I don't want to uh, ruin that for anything else. What's this airport we're passing by right now? Okay. That's good. Alright, so let's start lining up on the ILS here uh, for the runway. And I just disabled autopilot's uh, altitude thing because it was being a little bit funky. Um, but I am going to go ahead and raise a notch of flaps as I think we're a tad bit slow. So. Let's go 160. Yeah, I'm not following that anymore. Because I just don't trust it. There we go. So our goal for this one is we're going to have to get the plane on the runway uh, as, quick, as quick as we can because it is a short runway. And my concern with that is uh, we're going to overshoot it because we're flying a big bird here. So... We're going to have to definitely do some hard braking upon touchdown. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, be seated. Prepare for landing. One minute. Right, let's go full flaps at this point. Uh, we'll maintain 160 knots uh, for approach. And, uh, yeah. It's just so much easier flying this bird in by hand than having to use autopilot because the autopilot thing just does not work as far as from my experiences. Uh, it's never really worked before. So we're a tad bit low on this approach, which is alright. Um, we're not super duper low, but we are low. Actually, this heading is runway heading, so we're going to maintain this heading hold right here. Um, Alright, we got the plane down on the ground here pretty quick. 
Uh, it's just we have a short runway and I don't want to float it for too long. So I uh, decided to get it on the ground as soon as I can. Um, but welcome to San Bernardino International Airport. Um, this is our airport that we made it to. Thank you guys so much for watching this long video. I know it was long, I understand. Um, but, uh, you know, that's the fun of flying these big birds, is that's what they're meant for. They're meant for the longer haul flights, not the short 20 minute flights. Um, but, anyways guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what kind of video you guys like, if you like the rather longer ones where you gotta, you know, watch a good chunk of it, or you rather watch the ones that are, like, short, but, um, yeah, I just decided to do the long one to see how it works out, but, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, yeah, welcome to San Bernardino, let's go ahead and taxi the aircraft into the gate. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of China Airlines, the Sky Team member, and your wonderful flight crew, I'd like to welcome you to the San Bernardino International Airport, where the local time is 5... 2.37 p.m. For your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened, your tray table stowed, and your seat in the upright position until the aircraft has come to a complete and full stop at the terminal gate building. We will be taxiing for the next few moments, so please remain in your seats with your seatbelt fastened until the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. At that time, you are free to move about the cabin. Just a reminder: This is a no smoking aircraft, and uh, you're not allowed. You're not no smoking is permitted until you've reached a designated area of the terminal gate building. We'd like to thank you, everyone, for choosing China Airlines as your airline carrier today. We know there's a variety of choices out there, and we'd like to thank you for flying with China Airlines and the Sky Team member. We hope to serve you in a near future flight, whether it's domestic or international. This is actually not a regularly scheduled flight for. China Airlines, uh, they don't operate this type of a flight uh, with this big of an air. Well, they do with this big of an aircraft, but this was a non-scheduled uh, flight that we just uh, did with China Airlines, and thought, you know, we'll see what we get out of it. So, any at any rate, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was not a scheduled thing. And, uh, so I decided to put a little bit of a different airline, because we always fly with the same airlines, um, so it was time to change things up a little bit, and, uh, do something else. So, once again, guys, I know it was a long video, and I truly do understand that it's kind of hard to watch these long videos, um, uh, especially because we're just cruising a lot of it, so, um, yeah, so, anyways, guys, let's taxi the aircraft to the gate, and I'll wrap up the video there. And then uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty, so we are coming up to San Bernardino Airport. And from what it looks like, I don't see any gates. So my assumption here is we just park wherever we want. I don't see any markings, none of that stuff. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to park over here. Uh, there's no markings here telling me where I should park. So. Alright, so we're just going to pull into one of these slots right here. Yes. And we'll stop right there. Seatbelt sign, no smoking sign. And let's quickly watch the uh, push uh, our landing here. You can see I had it to the lowest as it could get. And there's your flaps 30 degrees uh, arrival into San Bernardino. That's probably the most. Uh, most I've ever used for this uh, type of a landing. I don't normally use full flaps if I can. U don't need it, but uh, this one it was required uh, since we wanted to get the plane on the ground pretty quickly. You can see a nat nat natural flare, and then we hit the ground uh, nicely. So, anyways, guys, uh, that will do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and that 
is that 